Saudi Arabia has no excuse for blocking aid to Yemen. International Development Secretary Penny Mordaunt said as she warned that using starvation as a weapon was a breach of humanitarian law. The UK is set to provide an emergency £50 million aid package to help feed millions of Yemeni people caught in the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Ms Mordaunt, who was visiting Djibouti in Saudi Arabia, promised food vouchers for 3.4 million Yemenis for one month, 106,000 tons of grain and fuel to keep hospitals running and pump clean water. Saudi Arabia has no excuse for blocking aid to Yemen, International Development Secretary Penny Mordaunt said as she warned that using starvation as a weapon was a breach of humanitarian law. Yemen has been embroiled in a bloody civil war since 2014 when rebels took over the capital city of Sana'a. In recent months there has been an escalation in fighting and restrictions on aid access threatened to push Yemen into a catastrophic famine, Ms. Mordaunt warned. The Saudi-led coalition fighting rebels have imposed restrictions in an effort to prevent supplies reaching their enemies. Speaking in Djibouti, from where UK aid is shipped to Yemen, Ms. Mordaunt said, The harrowing stories I have heard from Yemenis and aid workers today are a powerful reminder of the human tragedy of the world's worst humanitarian crisis where three quarters of the population are in desperate need. Every day, parents are carrying their malnourished children to hospital because they have eaten in days, and families are watching as loved ones die needlessly from treatable illnesses because they do not have access to medical care. UK aid will save lives with new food and fuel fuel that will produce food, pump clean water to help stop the spread of cholera, and power hospital generators. The UK is set to provide an emergency £50 million aid package to help feed millions of Yemeni people caught in the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Before leaving Djibouti to travel to Saudi Arabia, Ms Mordaunt told the Daily Telegraph that the UK fully appreciates the security concerns of the Saudi-led coalition and supported the right to screen shipping to prevent military equipment reaching the rebels. But there was no excuse for blocking ships that had been screened, she said, adding, It is very clear that if you are using starvation as a weapon you are in breach of international humanitarian law. And what I have seen on my visit is that what is being held up is aid. Ms Mordaunt who was visiting Djibouti and Saudi Arabia, promised food vouchers for 3.4 million Yemenis for one month, 106,000 tons of grain, and fuel to keep hospitals running and pump clean water. She added, I very much understand the importance of our relationship with Saudi Arabia. But we do not help that relationship by not speaking about the facts of the matter. If there were to be a breach of humanitarian law that would put that relationship into difficulty, she said. On the Saudi leg of her trip, Ms. Mordaunt met high-level political figures and made clear that the commercial and humanitarian supplies, on which Yemen depends to meet 90% of basic needs, must be resumed and that immediate access must be granted to avert a catastrophic famine. Speaking in Djibouti, from where UK aid is shipped to Yemen, Ms. Mordaunt said, the harrowing stories I have heard from Yemenis and aid workers today are a powerful reminder of the human tragedy of the world's worst humanitarian crisis where three quarters of the population are in desperate need.